Presented by Data East. He was born Rudolf Walter Wanderone Jr. in 1913 in the Washington Heights section of New York. He is perhaps the most recognizable figure in the history of pool. Although he has never won a formal world championship, Wanderone, better known as Minnesota Fats, has probably done more for the game of pool as a publicity generator and spokesperson than any player in the history of the game. In the 40s and 50s, Wanderone made a living as a streetwise card shark, pool hustler, and master of the proposition. He was known back then as New York Fats, Brooklyn Fats, and Double Smart Fats. It wasn't until the Paul Newman film The Hustler hit the theaters in 1961 that Wanderone changed his name to Minnesota Fats, the title used by the portly pool hustler portrayed by Jackie Gleason in the movie. Like the Gleason character, Wanderone had a reputation as a high roller. But unlike the subdued Fats portrayal in the film, Wanderone is a man of many words. He has a billion stories and anecdotes about the game he has played since he was five. Pool's the greatest game on earth, says Wanderone. You can put two eight-year-old kids on a pool table and go to Europe for a week. When you come home, those two kids will still be at the table playing pool. If you ask the average man in the street to name the greatest pool player of all time, chances are he'll say Minnesota Fats. It doesn't matter whether you pose the question to a skilled player or to someone who doesn't know the difference between a cue ball and an eight ball. Minnesota Fats is to pool what Muhammad Ali is to boxing. Minnesota Fats was inducted into the Billiard Congress of America's Hall of Fame for meritorious service in 1984. Minnesota Fats the greatest pool hustler the world has ever known. Hey, how you doing, Fats? What are you up to? Oh, hi, Fred. I'm waiting for Junior. He's supposed to stop by sometime today. Hey, Pops, Fred. Junior, how have you been? Sit down. You have a seat too, Fred. Junior, I've asked you to come here today for a reason. You know that I've spent all my life hustling pool halls. Well, my reputation. <laughs> People now call me the uncrowned king of pool. Yes, yeah, so what's the point? Well, before I became known as a king of pool, there was this kid named Big G. He used to hustle all of my establishments, cheating and using all sorts of nasty tricks. And I taught him a pretty good lesson by beating him at his own game and winning all of his earnings. Now I hear that recently, he's come back to stink up my pool halls again. Not alone, but with his boys. It's interesting, Fats. Can we hurry this up, Junior? Don't be obnoxious with me. I'm the one known for that. Anyway, I would really like to beat G in my old-fashioned style, but I've grown too old for hustling. So this is where you come in. Well, I know how good you are. I taught you a lot of my own tricks. I want you to find Big G and teach him a lesson for the second and last time. You know, Fats, you're always asking for trouble. But if you want me to, okay, I'm game. I assume that's it? Well, see you later, Fats. I gotta bail. Take it easy, Fred. Fred, watch it! Don't break the door! Junior's got himself in trouble. Look at this. Junior! I can't believe he actually joined up with Big G! What happened? I gotta put a stop to this! Fats, you're not going yourself, are you? Big G's a pretty big guy these days. Oh, yes I am. Basically, when you want to get things done right, you gotta do it yourself, Fred. A hustler hustles for the love of the thrill and the skill! Money is there to enhance the thrill, not to drown in it! Big G and Junior are winning! Simply because they're cheating. That junior better come back with me. Watch the hall for me when I'm gone, Fred.
boy! Oh, Minnesota fat! I guess there's no reason why you can't come in! Beth, <laughs> is that you? Why, are you here to join up with Big G and company, too? Oh, I see. So you're after Big G. Well, in that case, let's just see if you've got the stuff. You know me, I don't let easy money just walk on by. Come on. Oh, Beth, there's no way you're gonna be Big G like that. What a waste of my time. Why don't you just leave me your wallet and get out of here, will ya? Oh, and don't bother coming back. Hey, Fats, you're okay. So where to now? Oh, that's right. You're after G. Well, I'm warning you, you got some brushing up to do before you can even try hustling Big G. What do I know about him? Well, I know the man and your little junior own this cool pool bar. They've been hustling rich tourists and eating them alive at this dive. Bats! How you doing? Long time no see. It's me, Diamond, your old pal. What are you doing here in Mr. G's pool bar? Me? Well, I've joined the man. Big bucks, you know what I mean? You see, I'm not the Diamond you used to know. I've become quite a player in my own way. And as you can see, it's become rewarding. Now that I've caught you here, you're not going anywhere without crossing cue sticks with me. I've always wanted to see Minnesota fats go broke, especially if I got to pocket the money. It would also up my reputation as a pool shark. Come on, join me, for old time's sake. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to be that easy. Well, you can pay what you don't have in cash by working at my casino downstairs. Big G would just as soon you stay there for the rest of your life. Better get used to serving drinks. But you haven't changed a bit. You know, I gotta tell you, I originally joined Big G because I was envious of you as a pool player. I thought I could be big in a different way. I also thought I could really beat you this time. But I guess you've proven me wrong. Big G? Well, I guess he's over at that other pool hall of his. Uh... Here's the address. I guess your boy will be there, too. That's just the man I've been waiting for. Welcome to my private pool parlor. Girls, could you please excuse us for a second? Uh, Mr. Fats and I have some business to discuss. Well, Fats, it's been a long time. You know, that boy of yours is a pretty good hustler, you know? I can't tell you how happy I am just to take him under my own wing. Yeah, we made some serious bucks together, and bucks are what makes this world go round, man. Since you're here, I'd like to cut you in, too. You know, make you part of the winning team. You know, uh, make you look sort of like a family reunion. So why don't you think about it over a little friendly game of four, huh? Come on. Well, Fats, looks like the decision's made. Uh, you're flat broke anyway. You, Junior, and me, what a team, what a team, huh? Follow me. I'm glad you could join up, Pops. I always said money makes the world go round. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fats, you hustle me broke. You're good, Fats, you're real good. The uncrowned king still reigns. You know, it'd be a pity to let someone of your skill just leave. So, if you join up with me, I'll show you how to put that skill to some real use. So what do you say, huh? No? Why, I treat you with respect, hospitality, and goodwill. What do I get in return? You even hustle me out of my own limousine. Why, I oughta... Okay, okay, I gotta be carried away. Take the gun away, too, if you want. What, your boy? I sent him off to my other pool hall for a while. Hopefully, he'll bring back enough dough to to make up what I just lost. Okay, Fats. Now, could you be so kind and spin me some change so I could catch a bus?
Thought you'd never make it this far. Well, what do you think? Hustling sure can make big bucks if you do it right. Well, I guess I learned that one from you. Look, Fats, I'm not your little junior anymore. I think I've become quite the ace on my own. If you don't believe me, I'll show you. If I win, you leave all your belongings with me. You go back on your own, you let me run my life. If you win, my future's yours, no questions asked. Well, Fats, that shows you, huh? I guess you're not as good as you think you are anymore. I was really hoping you'd be a bit more of a challenge. Well, now that you got rid of Big G for me, everything he owned as well as what you own is mine. <laughs> Here's a quarter, Fats. Get out of town. <laughs> Man, Fats, that was quite a game. And I thought you'd grown old. Well, as I've always said, lay off me or you'd go broke. Just practice, practice, practice. Well, a deal's a deal. Let's go home. No, Junior, why don't you stick around and run this joint? I know you can make better use of this place than Big G did. And it'll do you a lot of good to be exposed to some of these pool sharks in this city. But get rid of this tux, Junior. A tuxedo on a pool player is like ice cream on a hot dog. <laughs>
Eyes up a little bit. I see. So you're after Big G. Well, you know me. I let you see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What do I know about him? Well, I know you're a man a little. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 All right. Long time no see. Me, Diamond, your old pal, remember me? <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> no, I treat you with respect, hospitality, and goodwill. And what do I get in return? You even hustle me out of my own limousine. Why, I oughta. Sorry. It's like a reaction. <laughs>